breath. Close your eyes, settle down. Take deep breath in and out. In and out. And see yourself as a tree. And with your feet, grow your roots down, down through the floor, down to the soil deep beneath the house, down around the rocks, searching for the waters deep below the earth. Reach down until you reach the bedrock, and crawl around until you find the pools of water, the waters of chaos and suck these waters up through your roots. Bring them up into your feet, bring them into your legs. Bring these waters up into your loins, into your belly. Bring them up into your chest, to your arms. See them pour out of your head and fingers and back into the ground as you sit here, pulling the waters from deep below. Now reach up with your branches high into the sky. Find that one star directly above you. Pull that light into your branches. Pull that light down into your hands, into your arms, into your head. Bring that light down into your chest and into your belly. Bring that light down through your legs, back down to your feet. Mix the waters from below with the light of water from above. Powers of fire and water, order and chaos mixing throughout your body, filling you with energies from below and above. Feel this energy course through you as you pull up from below and pull down from above. Take a moment. And when you're ready, push the excess back up to the sky. Push the excess back down to the ground. And bring in your roots and bring in your branches. But know that you can reach up and you can reach down, pull these powers back into you at any time to bring you the energy that you need or to release the energy you don't. But for now, Take a breath in and out, in and out. And when you are ready, open your eyes and rejoin us. First, we make offerings to the Earth Mother you who surround us and support us, you who give us this food that nourishes us, the weather that some enjoy, some will complain no matter what time of year it may be. You surround us and you support us for all that you do for us. Earth Mother, accept our offerings. Mighty well. First, we can say with a purpose, don't we? We're here to honor the gods. We're here to receive blessings from the kindreds. But first, let us recreate our sacred center. Mighty well. Deep. You go far into the earth to the underworld. To you we offer silver as sacred waters flow within us. The mighty fire, you burn and you transform. You send to the heavens all that we offer to you. To you we offer this incense. A sacred fire burn within us. 
and mighty tree. The roots go down deep into the earth. Your branches go high into the heavens. You are the crossroads between all the worlds. We terrify you with this water and incense. We say, sacred tree, grow within us. By the might of the water, the light of the fire, in my grove and all our groves. This our groves are full and holy. By the might of the water, the light of the fire, and all of our groves. It's our groves made whole and holy. By the light of the water, the light of the fire, our groves are whole and holy. Gatekeepers all, you have aided us in the many years we have been doing this. We call to you once more to aid us, to guide us, to watch over us and protect us as we walk these holy ways, to take our messages far and wide, to bring back what we hear. Gatekeepers all, accept our offer. Now, join your magic with mine, and my grove in all of our groves, let this well open. It's a gate to the underworlds. It's fire open. It's a gate to the upper worlds. And let this tree be the crossroads between all the worlds open to our spirits and open to our voices. Let the gates be opened. And now we off to the shining ones. Shining ones, gods and goddesses of elder days, those of you who are known to us, who watch over us, watch over our lands, our friends, our families, and those of you that are unknown to us. Shining ones, all we offer to you. Shining ones, accept our offering. Land spirits, you fur and feather, scale and skin, leaf and twig, stem and flower, be you seen or unseen, like the Fae and the Elves and the Dwarfs. All of you who enrich our lives every day. Land spirits, accept your offerings. And ancestors, those who have walked this world before us, Be you those of our own families, be those of those chosen family, and be you of this land where we are currently living. Ancestors, accept our offerings. At this point, if anyone has offerings they wish to make, to the kindred, to their patrons, their matrons, their allies. Please make them now. Make this to all those whose voices cannot be heard whatever reason it may be, and so we may give them a voice if as possible.
There are no further offerings. We should mighty ones give to you one more time. Mighty kindred, God's dead and land spirits, accept our sacrifice. And now we ask. Shining one, what blessings do you give? We give Isa, ice, stagnation, or stability. Mad spirits, what blessings do you give? Spiritual travel, spiritual works. And ancestors, what blessings do you give us? They give us one joke, joy and happiness. I'm reading this as we may be stuck where we are for a little while, but keep at the spiritual practice and enjoy yourself. Don't forget to have fun. I think these omens are good. Do we accept these omens? All that. In these waters and waters in each and every one of our homes. Fill them with Isa. Fill them with Aorus. Fill them with Wangjo. May we recognize and embrace this stagnation that we're going to get. And may we work on the spiritual work we need to work on. But may we have fun in all that we do. Behold the waters of life. And now we thank all of those who have aided us. Ancestors, all of you, for all that you do for us, we give you our thanks, give your thoughts and our memories. Ancestors, we thank you. And land spirits, all of you around us, whether you're seen or unseen, for all that you do for us, land spirits, we thank you. The shining ones. Gods and goddesses of elder days. For each and every one of you and what you do for us. Shining ones. We thank you. And gatekeeper. You've once more opened the ways between the worlds and brought back these wonderful messages while setting our messages far and wide. For that, gatekeepers, we thank you. We ask once more that you join your magic with mine in my house and in all of our houses that the well become water once more, that the fire become a flame once more, that the tree become a tree once more. Let the gates be closed. And last but not least, Earth Mother, without you, we wouldn't be here. For all that you do for us, for all that you provide to us, we cannot say thank you enough. 
First Mother, we thank you. And last but not least, go now, children of Earth, and wisdom in peace. This right has ended.